As America rings in 247 years of independence, a local World War II veteran is celebrating 75 years of marriage with his wife. Well, we met um, at a dance in Michigan City, Indiana. Meridian residents Dan and Betty Hines married in 1948, only a few years after the end of the Second World War. After we met on a Saturday, the following Monday, at work I told all my friends I met the man I'm going to marry. And they said, oh, you're kidding. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> and I did. When asked if they picked the day before Independence Day for their wedding date, Dan and Betty felt that there was no strong correlation, just that they wanted to be together. We were in a world of our own. Dan enlisted in the Navy and worked as a gunner and a cook on an amphibious ship. He says a majority of the time his ship was in the Philippines. Leyte battle, too? Yeah, Leyte. I the that. second one. They had two Leyte battles. I was in the second one. Serving in the military became a family affair when their eldest son joined the Marines and they had another son serving in the U.S. Navy. I went overseas but spent a year in Okinawa. Oh, I do it again. I, I, I do it again. Um, the Marine Corps was, taught me a lot of things. It met a lot of really good friends. The Marine veteran traveled from San Diego to celebrate this milestone with his family. You know, be, to be married 75 years is, in this day and age is unimaginable. We had a mass today in celebration of their anniversary. And I, I think it made my parents' day. Have the best, best parents in the world. When asked what fighting in World War II meant to Dan, he said that his time in the Navy is important, but not quite as special as his marriage. The best thing happened to me, I met my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The 4th of July isn't the only day of the year you can show appreciation for our country. You can visit places like the Warhawk Air Museum to learn more about our nation's military history. Reporting from Nampa, Ali Tripke, Idaho News 6.